students, I am Mr. Aremo Pamidele Okweyemi. I will be your financial accounting teacher for this lesson. The topic before me today is loan capital and we shall be treating the ventures. If you are to start a business today, there is need for you to raise capital from various sources such as personal savings, borrowing from friends, family, and probably from the bank. Every company also raises capital to finance its business. In order to raise capital, any company will look into different sources. Capital can be raised through issue of shares, issue of debentures, and from long-term borrowings. After issue of shares, company will give priority to issue of debentures. Debenture is a document, certificate in bracket, issued under company seal. It is an acknowledgement of the loan received by company from debenture holders. Before we proceed, let us look at our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, all students listening to me will be able to 1. Explain the ventures. 2. Discuss three types of the ventures. 3. Itemize two methods of issuing the ventures. 4. Enumerate three modes of pricing in issue of the ventures. And 5. State for comparison between shares and the ventures. The venture. The venture is a written acknowledgement of a debt owed by a company executed under the common seal of the company. In its simplicity, the venture is a loan obtained by the company from investors through the capital market. Where a company offers debentures to the public for subscription, it shall execute a debenture trust deed in respect of the debentures. It bears the date of redemption rate and mode of payment of interest. Only a company has access to this kind of loan. Unincorporated businesses such as partnership and sole proprietorship do not have access to debenture as a loan. It is a loan of long-term nature or simply put a long-term liability to the company. A debenture holder is a creditor to the company. Types of debentures. If you look at my chart displays, the first one is the plain types of debentures. You see the second chart, which displays the classifications of debentures. That is the types of debentures. It means that we have three, we have five types of debentures generally, which are security, redemption, records, convertibility, and priority. Then under each of these, debentures are further classified. For example, we have the security there is further classified into unsecured and secured debentures. Then under uh, redemption. It's further classified into redeemable and non-redeemable debentures. Under records, it's further classified into registered and bearer debentures. Then under convertibility, we have convertible and non-convertible uh, debentures. And under priority, we have first debentures and second debentures. Number one, from security point of view, we have secured or mortgage debentures and unsecured debentures. Secured or mortgage debentures. These debentures are secured by a charge on the assets of the company. These debenture holders have the right to recover their principal amount along with interest out of the assets mortgaged by the company. Unsecured debentures. These debentures do not have any security with regard to principal and unpaid interest. These are also called simple debentures. Number two, on the basis of redemption, we have redeemable debentures and non-redeemable debentures. Redeemable debentures, these are the debentures which are issued for a fixed period. Company agrees to repay the borrowed amount on a certain date or after a specific period of notice. This can be redeemed by annual drawings or by purchasing from the open market. Non-redeemable debentures. These are the debentures which do not carry any date of redemption and they are perpetual debentures. Such debentures are paid back only when the company goes into liquidation. Number three, on the basis of records, registered debentures and bearer debentures. Registered debentures will be issued only to the debenture holders who are registered with the company and these debentures are not negotiable. And these debentures cannot be transferred to other persons unless the regular instrument of transfer is sanctioned by the director of the company. Bearer debentures. These debenture orders 
are not recorded in the register of the company and they are easily transferable by delivery. Also, these debenture holders are entitled to get interest. On the basis of compatibility, we have convertible debentures and non-convertible debentures. Convertible debentures, these debentures can be converted into equity or stock of the company on the expiry of predetermined period and the terms and conditions regarding convertibility announced at the time of issue of debentures. Non-convertible debentures, these debentures cannot be converted into equity or share of the company and they carry high rates of interest. On the basis of priority, that is the fifth and the last one, first debenture and second debentures. First debentures, these are redeemed before the redemption of other debentures. Second debentures, these are redeemed after the redemption of the first debentures. We shall go on short break now. When we come back, we shall continue with issue of debentures. See you shortly. <laughs> You are welcome back to the second segment of financial accounting lesson for today. We are still on the topic loan capital and our focus still remains debentures. You will recall that we were able to discuss the debentures and its capitals in the first segment of this lesson. In this second segment, we shall be looking at issue of debentures. From my charts, you will discover here issue of companies debentures that the procedure to issue debenture is similar to that of equity share issue shown as below release of prospectus then the next move is application by applicants and to installment on application then alloyments and on calls ways of issuing debentures issue at par issue at premium and issue at discount you will discover that when issue price is equal to face value it is called issue at par and when issue price is greater than face value is called issue at premium and when issue price is less than face value it is called issue at discount and those are at the pricing level then the methods include the cash basis and also issue as collateral security and also issue for consideration other than cash let me explain further the procedures for issue of debentures are very much similar to that of shares. A prospectus is issued to the public for inviting applicants and allotment is made. Then we have three modes of pricing on issue of the venture. They are issue of the ventures at par, issue of the venture at discount, and issue of the venture at premium. Number one, issue of the venture at par. This is a situation whereby the ventures are quoted at the nominal value. Nominal value is equal to the issuing price of face value. For example, a debenture of 200 naira is issued at 200 naira. Number two, issue of debenture at discount. This is when debentures are quoted below the nominal value. For instance, debenture of 200 naira is issued at 180 naira. Number three, issue of debenture at premium. This is a situation whereby debentures are quoted above the nominal value. For example, the venture of 200 Naira is issued at 230 Naira. Methods of issuing the ventures. There are basically three methods of issuing the ventures. Issue of the venture for cash, issue of the venture for consideration other than cash, and issue of the venture as cosateral security. Number one, issue of the ventures for cash. The ventures in general course of business are issued for cash. Issue of debentures for cash can be received in lump sum with application as well as by installment. This issue of debentures for cash can be at par, at discount, and at premium. Number two, issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. Debentures can be issued for consideration other than cash. The company may have purchased assets from some vendors or acquired some other businesses. Then, instead of paying cash, the company may issue the ventures to such vendors. Such an issue for the ventures can be at par, at discount, or at premium. Number three, issue of the ventures as collateral securities. Whenever a company takes loan from bank or from any financial institution, it may issue its debentures as secondary security, which is an addition to the principal security. Such an issue of the venture is known as issue of the ventures as collateral security. The lender will have a right 
over such debentures only when company fails to pay the loan amount and the principal security is exhausted. This issue of debentures can as well be at par, at discount, and at premium. We shall go on a short break now. We'll be back to continue with comparison of shares and debentures. See you soon. You are welcome back to the third segment of financial accounting lesson. Our topic still remains loan capital, whereby we are focusing on debentures. You will recall that we were able to discuss debentures and its types in the first segment of this lesson. In the second segment also, we were able to analyze the issue of debentures. In this third and concluding segment, we shall be comparing shares with debentures. Comparison of shares and debentures. Shares versus debentures. If you take a look at the charts that I display here, you will discover that share, the pictures on the shares above, two hands joining together, means that they are working hand in hand for the development of that organization, of that company, with all those things that surround them there. It means that they are the owner of the organization. But the venture down here in this picture, you will discover the bag and different kinds of money, which signifies that they are borrowing the company the money. It means that the shareholders are the owner of the organization, uh, but the debenture holders are the creditors to the organization. We shall be comparing shares and debentures on nine bases. On the basis of many, shares are the company-owned capital, while debentures are the borrowed capital of the company. On order, the person who holds the ownership of the shares is called shareholder, while the person who holds the ownership of the venture is called the venture holder. Number three, on status, shareholders are owners, while the venture holders are the creditors. Number four, on mode of returns, shareholders are given dividends, while the venture holders are given interest. On payment of returns, dividend can be paid to the shareholders out of profit and by the company. Why interest can be paid to the debenture holders regardless of company any profits. Number six, on security for payments, shares have no security, but debentures have security. Number seven, on voting rights, shareholders possess voting rights, but debenture holders possess no right to vote. On conversion, that is number eight, shares cannot be converted into debentures. Whereas the ventures can be easily converted into shares. Number nine, which is the last one, on trust deed. Trust deed is not carried out in the shares. Whereas trust deed has to be carried out when the ventures are issued to the public. We have come to the end of today's financial accounting lesson. You can tweet us on Lagos State Ministry of Education Twitter page at LASG Education for your questions and comments. You can also visit the following website for further study, www.accountinglearning.com, www.efinancemanagement.com, www.economicsdiscussion.net www.byjus.com and www.flexiprep.com Stay safe and God bless you.